This video covers Power SDR 2.7.2 KE99S Revision R6, and I've added uh, the DX cluster spotting as well as shortwave spotting. Uh, so let's go over that feature, the spotter button over here. You click that button, and you've got your uh, cluster spotting, the DX cluster spotting. Put in an address. You don't need a name anymore. An address port your call sign uh, that should get you in and you got your choice of uh, North American spotters or exclude North American spotters you can change that anytime you want while it's running right now it's it's off it's all closed I hit spot it'll say that it's trying to open it got the socket now it's waiting for DX spots there comes the spots and then they'll start appearing on the pan adapter now the shortwave uh, list is there's a file on a website and it's listed here that EIBI space dot DE and you grab that file you rename it to SWL dot CSV and then what you do is you go into the call sign database right click and then that'll open up a folder right here and then you gotta drop that file into this folder that pops up that's how you get that in there now when you hit the DX spot button it will start accumulating and there's 12,000 uh, DX spots in there and obviously they, they are on and off the air by time by by days uh, but while that's spooling up you can still you can still see the uh, frequencies as they build it starts at at 10 kilohertz and works its way up to 30 uh, and you can either minimize or close this it doesn't matter so basically it's now DX spotting but it's also uh, spotting short waves and this is in the 40 meter band and you can see how the the uh, short wave stations occupy occupy that band you can see the carriers popping up all over and if you zoom in it makes it a little easier to to read the names of some of these stations but if you go into the short wave bands you can see a lot more of these uh, these different stations and sometimes they have multiple names because th there's different uh, transmitters around the world and that they're not all beamed and very few are beamed at North America so uh, you've got different different names on the list but like I said they're easier to see if you zoom in or, or zoom out if you zoom in it gets kind of crowded but you can always uh, turn it off and turn it back on and it doesn't have to reload as long as you don't close power SDR and the uh, Again, the, the spots will just continue to accumulate. Uh, if I go back into 40 meters and scroll around, then you can see the actual spots start to pop up. Uh, the actual DX spots pop up. And they will uh, disappear after 30 minutes if there's no new, uh, no new spot to refresh it. If they change frequency, it'll move to the new frequency. Uh, this list, the spotting list, shows the the newest spots on top and accumulates uh, 60 of the latest spots, and all over, including uh, VHF and UHF. If there's any spots in there, that'll they'll pop up all over, and that's it.